Okay, so what is the principal square root? Well, to really talk about the principal square root, a couple things we need to go through and remind ourselves of. Remember, when we were trying to figure out what the square root of negative one was, we gave it a identity of the letter i, meaning imaginary, right? Because we don't have a num, our real number system does not have a value for a square root of negative one, so we give it i as our imaginary real number system. So remember that. The next thing we need to remember is how do we simplify square roots? Let's say I give you the square root of 8. Right? There's a couple different ways you could work on simplifying the square root of 8. You could use a prime factorization, factor tree. Uh, we could also rewrite it as a product of a square number. And that's the way I'm just going to rewrite it. So then what we determined was if I could evaluate for one of these, I could break it down into the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. Attention all faculty members, dinner is ready in the cafeteria. Dinner is ready in the cafeteria. It's open house, so that means uh, I get to go and do that after I make multiple math videos and then I talk to parents. So I have square root of 4 times 2. The square root of 4 now is 2 radical 2. So that is part of our, uh, our, rules, with, uh, our rules with roots that allows us to do that. So what is the principal square root? What the principal square root tells us, if I have the square root of a negative number, I can break that down into the square root of negative 1 times a. Then I can break it down further into square root of negative 1 times the square root of a. Where there, now I can actually evaluate the square root of the positive value, right? Because if I factor out that negative 1, now I can simplify this, evaluate it, whatever you need to do. And then I can rewrite the square root of negative 1 is i. So we can write i times the square root of a. Or we prefer, actually, in mathematics, to write a times i. So whatever the square root of a is, it could be anything. I'll go through some examples you know, throughout the day. But the main important thing is you can evaluate this. But we, what we can do is we can pull out that negative square root of negative 1 and just represent it as i. So there he goes, ladies and gentlemen. That's your principal square root.